Echo official trailer has released, and before I watch the trailer, I'm I want to tell you guys what I'm like feel on the Echo show. It feel it felt pointless. It feels pointless. It feels like it should not exist. And why would I want to care about this character? Then I heard Daredevil was going to be in it. Kingpin was going to be in it. It made me more interested. Still, it was not like one of my excited Marvel projects that they were coming out with. I was I was still anticipating it, but it was not huge for me. Till today. This show is going to be Marvel's and Disney's first TVMA show. And it's going to be their first R-rated project. That right there. Now, I shouldn't just judge it on that alone, but that made me way more excited for this. But let's see if the trailer looks good. So I'm going to watch the trailer, then give you guys my thoughts on it. Okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> so... Just full disclaimer, I have not seen the Daredevil show on Netflix, or well, now it's on Disney+, Plus. but I have not seen that show, or The Punisher, or anything in that universe. But I know, it is, I know it's an extremely popular show, and I have seen the first episode of that show, and the trailer for it. And watching this trailer for Echo, it looks like that. It has the TVMA feel to it. But then, you have like that, the violence in there, you have like the mature story in there. Well, we didn't get much of the story, it was just a teaser, but just from that trailer alone, you can just see like the different kind of tone this has compared to like terrible example, Thor Love and Thunder. You can definitely see the different tones in there. Let's pick a mature, let's do Moon Knight. That and Moon Knight, you can tell they have completely different tones. Echo being mature. You can tell that this is a mature show. They're aiming for the mature audience. But there's one thing I forgot. All episodes are dropping on the same day. They changed the release date to January 10th. And they're dropping on Hulu and Disney Plus the same day. And... I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe they're doing that because Daredevil did it on Netflix, but... That could mean it's bad, could mean it's good, Stranger Things doesn't it, maybe they're testing out something else. But, just from this trailer alone, I'm excited for Echo. Now, I feel like I do need to watch, I feel like I do need to watch Daredevil first before this, even though it may not be canon to that. I just feel like it will help me understand things more if I watch it, so maybe I should watch that first. But, I am now it interested in Echo, I am excited for it now. And, well, I was excited for it before, but now I'm more excited for it. Not as much as Loki or the Marvels coming out, but... Yeah, I'm still ex I I'm excited for Echo. I think this trailer did win me over and done its job. I, 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 do not see an I do not need to see another trailer to win me over for this, but I'm sure they will release another one. But, anyways, that's my thoughts on the trailer. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts. Follow my letterbox, call the Conman Movie, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.